Hi, my name is Tiloladi, and you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can build and create your own private GPT, all right, which is which is built personally for you or personally for your business. Um, if you're someone like me, um, who got stuck, uh, trying to trying trying to replicate these on my own local my own local um, drive due to storage limitations, um, you know, due to add disk space limitations. Um, I had to resort to using Google Colab. So I'm going to be showing you how you can use Google Colab or PreAventure, any other cloud Jupyter notebook out there. All right, now, what is the goal for this project? The goal for the project is we want to build a private GPT. As you can see, we have the likes of, um, yeah. you have the likes of um, Chat GPT, you have several other, uh, you know, AI LLM uh, chatbots out there, which are, which are currently using LLM large language models. So in this case, in this case, uh, we're going to be making use of Langchain. Uh, we're going to be making use of GPT for all, uh, Llama, C C C CPP, Chroma, and Sentence Transformers. You know, talking about our embeddings. All right, and I'm going to be replicating um, I Martinez project in this tutorial. Um, also, yeah, also, yeah, I've talked about I've talked about the model already. But we're making use of the GPT for all or the Llama, uh, the Llama CPP uh, 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 model, LLM model. All right. So this is my repo already, which I've been able to do when I built this using Google Colab, all right? And this project was inspired by I Martinez. If you check out I Martinez work on GitHub, you can see, you, you can see, you can replicate this for your local, um, to your local system. Um, it has almost, um, almost similar, similar environment and architecture, um, but I just made some minor, minor updates uh, on this, on my own, on my own project. All right, so let me just walk you through. All right, so if you check through, uh, the first thing you want to do is that you want to clone um, is Git repo, right? Uh, that's, you want to clone it. So you're going to come here, for example, uh, you're going to come here and click on HTTPS here, this section, and you can you copy this, all right? When you copy that, you go back to your collab and you type git clone, git, um, that, uh, git, git clone, with the code you just copied, but I've already done it already, so I won't have to do that again. Um, and obviously, the reason why I'm using this exclamation mark is because of the Linux environment, uh, which I'm sure by now you're already familiar with. All right. So once this is is done already successfully, uh, you're going to have this folder called the private, the private GPT folder on your Google on your Google Colab Drive. Okay. So now the next thing that we want to do is. Uh, from here, the next thing we want to do is, all right. Once I have that folder there, uh, you want to you want to install the project requirement, right? You want to set up your environment or my collab environment, all right. So if you come here, uh, in this section, so to to get here, you come to files, um, in your Google Collab, all right. Um, now you're going to see requirement.txt file. Uh, um, I'm going to install this here, and it's going to run. You're going to wait a while. It's going to install. Now, once it's once that's installed, then the next thing you want to do is you want to download the model, right? Uh, for for example, by using the GPT for all, you can always change this, all right? Uh, you can change this to the the uh, llama the llama model, and and you can use that. So uh, easy easy said and done. You can always get this here. So you okay, all right? Uh, when you come to uh this uh repo. I can see the I can see the LLM model here, the default LLM model. I just need to right click on it and it's just copy. All right. Then I come back to my my collab and I use the reget command uh to download this to download this model. So now this model will be downloaded automatically to my Google Collab. All right. That's gonna be downloaded to my Google Collab environment. Now you're gonna you can see this here. All right. So I'm gonna leave this here, which is which is pretty much okay. Um, pretty much okay. All right. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to work on the environment file, the environment variables for this particular project. All right. Now, uh, there's, an, there's an initial environment um, setup already that was done here, but let me show you, let me show this to you. But however, you, you are going to modify this for the Google Collab environments. All right. Which I already did on my own repo. So you just come and check this here. Uh, you okay. So the changes we made here are uh, uh, we made changes on the persis directory in terms of the the path the path uh, the path to the deep database that we created that's one and the second change say the second ch change we made here was 
regarding the model part, right? That's this model. How do, how do we get um, this model? Uh, we got this model. If you come here, this is the model. So you just click on these three dots and you click on copy path. Uh, that means voila, you've got to the model part. So you just paste this here. Okay, let me just put this in my browser so you can see content. So this is the path to our model, which is um here. All right. So okay. Okay, no, okay, let me let me move to mine. This is the initial one by I Martinez. So I'm gonna move to mine. Yeah. So this is the content. Let me paste this here again so you can see the similarity. You have the content GGML as well as this, right? So I need to be able to link my project or uh, my project script to the LLM path on the Google uh, on the Google Collab environment. All right. All right. Um, okay, so now there's something you should take note of. Uh, but the next thing, okay, before that, before that, you're going to want to create the environment file. So I use the torch uh, to create my environment file, my environment file. I created a file, first of all, it's called the in nv.t, after which I'm going to rename this file um, using the um, rename function uh, to rename this. All right. So uh, when you create this file the first time, the file will be created somewhere here out of this particular folder the private GPT folder. So I'm gonna to want to move this uh, up. So I move this up here, all right? So you're gonna move this ENT, EV, EV, uh, env dot, the text uh, file in this particular, you just need to drag it like this. You just drag it, but I don't wanna drag this one now, but you can just drag it and you push this up here, all right? Uh, once you do that, it is still, the file name is still called the env.tx the txt all right after which you now uh, you, you get to open it how do you open it for example you can open the file like this on your collab environment um and you can decide to rename it so you can decide to um add changes or you know you want to rename uh rename the file so you can always rename the file yeah all right so i hope that, that answers your question okay uh so okay all right. Um, as you can see, if you check out, if you check my uh, my repo here, you will see that I believe I made the updates here already. Uh, so I, I I dropped the link to my repo, my 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 GitHub repo, uh, as well as uh, the collab, the collab. Um, what do you call it? This collab notebook. So uh, if I, if I would advise you to download, I would advise you to download my notebook uh, to run this setup. Just download my notebook. Uh, first of all, uh, rather than downloading this other one, since I've been able to, I've been able to uh, update the particular is, is version already. So you just need to come here. Um, you, you need to do this so you avoid you avoid confusion on your own part. Uh, you just come here and um, HTTPS. You just click on this to download my rep. So if you download mine, you're going to see uh, when you come to when if, if you click on this example dot env, you will see the changes here, right? Uh, so you might not see these changes here because this is the initial uh, repo that I got. Okay, so let me just show you. This is the link. Uh, no, this is the link. All right, so you just click on the clone, the git clone, and you clone it as I did initially at the top of the video. All right, so uh, the next thing that we want to do is once you've been able to make edit the updates to this persist directory, as well as the model part, I'm going to close. You, you click on uh, Ctrl S, you save that. Um, you want to move the next thing you want to do is uh, okay, let's move on. All right, I've talked about this part already. Downloading our model, um, I've talked about yeah. So, once we once be able to first of all create a text file on our collab environment, uh, we move the file from outer of this directory into our private GPT, the folder for the project. Uh, then we now copy and paste. So, you go to example, uh, you copy and paste. You copy all this, just a control A, no, uh, in this place, just a control A, then you, you control C. You paste it in the E, uh, in this particular file. Now, the reason why we can't see this file here is because uh, Collab environment is like is more or less like Unix environment, right? Um, so you're not going to be able to want to see, you're not going to be able to see dot .env file extension here, right? But it is here, but it's eating. Now, if you clone this repo, my repo, into your um into, into your local space, all right. You are going to seal the .env file there. 
All right, so that's the reason why you cannot see that far yet, but that's why I'm walking you through this video, taking it step by step so you can understand this. And feel free to hit me up if you don't understand this, uh, either via mail or any, anything. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my videos. Uh, I will appreciate that. Okay, all right, so let's move on. Yes, all right. Okay, I think I, there's, there's some detailed explanation here already on that. Um, collapse environment, fire system, basically it's Unix. Um, talking, talking about why we cannot see, why you will not see the dot .env um, file, environment file, when you uh, you see that. All right, so you move on. Um, let's make some changes. Um, all right, so let's move on to this. So uh, what I did here uh, using this list, basically I wanted to list out the files. I wanted to be sure that my environment file is in my folder, all right, that's using the dot .env. Uh, to be sure that the file is in my folder. Uh, this one, so then you run the cat using the cat command here is to list out the file, the content in my file, those EMV files. So you can see that this is correct. My pages here, I'm using the content slash DB. My model part two also correct and updated. So we are good to go. Uh, you could ignore this. Uh, this is just checking for file, file permissions. You could ignore this. Okay, so I made some notes here. Okay, yes, so there are two changes that I did. Um, which you also which but but the beauty is that if you if you download my um my repo, I've made those changes there already to the ingest the py file as well as a private gpt file. All right, that's a file to run to run your code, and the first file is uh to ingest is to ingest your to, to ingest your data. All right. So uh let me let me show you just to show you. Uh I made some changes. Uh, okay, let's just move ahead. I made some changes, and as you can see, you're going to see this here. Uh, let's let me scroll down on this file. So, all right, so, if so this script is 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 basically an if statement. Uh, we're trying to load um, the environment, um, our environment file, the environment variable, right? And I made some updates here because uh, initially this particular version is when you use it in your local environment, that's your PC. But if you're using it on Google Colab, you need to explain to Colab that, oh, my environment file is in this particular uh, folder directory, all right? Uh, so you, you put the directory part there so it can see it. Uh, yeah, as you can see here, the made changes there. Also, we also made some changes here. Just look, take a look. Uh, I made some changes here. Okay, as you can see, um, as you can see, let me show you that. Uh, okay, now if you look at this, this uh, in my environment, in my environment variables, this source directory is, is this source variable, uh, directory variable rather, um, is supposed to load, is, is to load the the source file where I have the source document. So you can see, yes, um, I can always dump more files here. I, I mean, you can dump more files here on the, in, in this folder. You can right click and click on upload and you can upload more more files into that folder all right so this source directory um variable is telling is is, is linking up is linking this all right so but yeah i had to change the the path um the path of my file as you can see here content private gpt source um and this is for obvious reason because i'm not using my local system I'm using the collab environment. So we made these changes here. Uh, also, if you check out the private GPT, uh, I think we made, okay. Um, yeah, so the other changes we made here um, was basically this uh, changing uh, for this particular, um, uh, for this particular um, script line, line of statement, right? All right, so, all right, so we're good to go. Then when you're done with that, you just click on Control S to save. Then I can close this. I can close that. Okay. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to run your ingest script. What this is saying is that okay, uh, fetch me all my data. Um, if it is a CSV format, every data that is acceptable in this particular script, fetch it for me. Uh, when when that when that happens, it's going to create a folder called a DB uh, based on the scripting. Um, it's going to create a folder called a DB where you're going to see all of this here. Uh, for you there uh okay <clears throat> all right let's move on all right um then the next thing you want to do is the next thing you, you, you want to run uh you want to run your your environment like you want to run the uh the gpt right and you run python um the linux command the python 
or the path to the uh, to get this part, you just come here um, and you click on copy part and that is good to go. All right. All right. Now, now mine took about 267T, 2670 seconds. That was about, I think, over 30 minutes or so. So it took a long time. And so when, you, when, you, when you're when you working in yours, you could aim at improving uh, the, the time response and you could aim at adding multiple documents to see how it works for you on Google Collab. And you can also recreate, you can also... Um, um, you can also recreate this in your local environment, but, I will, but in, in that case, you would just need to go back to the earlier version by I, um, I Martinez uh, to use this initial version. All right, but if you want to replicate it on Google Colab, you just need to clone my repo here where I made changes uh, to the environmental setup. All right, so that'll be all for this video. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you in my next class. Thank you.